G'day tubers, how's it going? So, we're uh, just setting this up as a uh, temporary measure. Uh, I've got some cable crimps coming, I got them on um, eBay. And uh, I've got a borrow back at cable crimp that I sold previously. So we're going to make some proper links uh, for this setup. I've just used all those ones I got off that, um, what are they called? Boom lift. That, uh, 48 volt boom lift that I scrapped all the gear out of. Anyway, so we've got our four super safe SPS 190Fs in here. I had found on the internet the other day that these were 900 US dollars each when they were new. No, crazy. Anyhow, so out of the shed we've retired a 2,500 watt pure sine wave, 48, uh, 24 volt. So we've got these in a 24 volt configuration. To 20. 8 odd volts of charge at the moment. Um, we have just the single DC incomer there which is going up onto this roof which just has a single 250 watt 38 volt grid type panel. Um, into the EP Ever VS30-24 so we can do 24 volts and up to 30 amps. And what do we got going on here? It says your voltage 27.1 So I've reset the load kilowatt hours and I've reset the PV kilowatt hours on this. I've also reset this little ALEC power meter. Um, so there's no kilowatt showing on that beast. 239 volts coming out. Let's go in and see if we can uh, run the kettle. So here is our quick boil kettle. It's rated between 1850 and 2200 watts. Okay, kettle's still boiling. Uh, we're out putting 230 volts out of the inverter. 1886 watts is what we're getting. Uh, under full load, the inverter says 23 volts. 24.5, I think I've just seen up here. Yeah, 24.5. She is checked off by this down here. No temperature on that terminal. A tiny little bit of temperature on that terminal. And we're good on the inverter. I love 24 volt systems. So now, the reason we're doing this is to make a peg shaver. Um, we've just changed the time of day use power metering, and uh, the wattage should theoretically go down as the temperature inside the kettle goes up, the resistance changes, but anyway, go and watch the kettle finish. That was cold too, by the way. The last coffee I made was three hours ago or something. So. Look at that, no problems. Now we're straight bounce back to 25 volts. This isn't even the full bank yet. 25.1 is climbing. The, uh, there's another 200 amp hour to bring in, so back, effectively it's about to double. Can't wait to make some new cables. Alright, let's get the induction cooktop out. Okay, then there's a cord to about 2 litres of water in a copper base induction style pan. Temperature of that now. Oh. Risk 10 degrees.
sticks out there. If you haven't played with induction much, it is amazing. Twenty four point four at the battery bank outside. Folks that is. outside, so we're only at the battery's nominal voltage and 2,000 watts of load. God, induction cooktops are quick. I just find it amazing what it does to the water. Forty Celsius. Hopefully we get the rolling boil going on here within this video. I reckon we will. Still twenty four point four at the battery's terminals. I think this is very much concept proven already. We're about to double the size of this battery bank and cabling and uh, get the thousand watts of solar up on the roof. I'll probably have to bring my 45 amp MPPT in, but I really want a meter. I want to know what power comes off the roof. Over halfway to boiling. Normal stove doesn't do that, like it's got bubbles in there. It's like faster than LPG. Or propane. We call it LPG in Australia. We could petroleum gas. Sixty. Look at that go guys. Twenty four point four at the battery terminal still hasn't changed. So the bank's still at twenty four point four. I can't wait to see the eventual kilowatt hours we get out of this thing. That's why yeah, we've plugged the meter in straight away. But this thing means that I have the ability to take a 2000 watt load odd off peak time while I'm cooking dinner. Or running the washing machine or something like that. If I want to do that in peak time, that means I can. We might have to put the video in two parts to finish off, but that's okay. I like uploading them in 4K for the future, so there'll be a second part come out straight after this one. Twenty-four point three at the battery terminals. Starting to really get some rumble going on in there now. Alright guys, we're going to have to make a part two to this. 80 degrees. I will uh, see you on part two. It'll be uh, straight after this one. Thanks for watching.